Welcome, Hélène. It's a real pleasure to have you here just after a magic presentation about your trial, the REIA trial. So, um, which is the need for this trial uh, before constructing and uh, choosing the, 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 the message that you wanted to deliver, which is behind the REIA? Yes, there is a need, and that's true that it is the first randomized trial in women comparing uh, surgery and TAVI. And uh, there, is, there was a need because uh, women are underrepresented uh, in the low risk trial. There are about 30% of the trials in partner or evolute. And we know also that they have different baseline characteristics. Valves are more fibrotic. There is uh, the remodeling, uh, the left ventricular remodeling is different with more hypertrophy. We have also from other studies um, a mortality which seems higher uh, after surgery in women versus men, and also a benefit of TAVI uh, which looks uh, higher in women than in men. So several different reasons to have a dedicated uh, trial in a woman. So we have female population and the, the female participants were randomized to TAVI or to SAVR. Yes. What the RAYA showed at the end as result? So first of all, uh, the, it showed that um, the, the just to go, to go back to the characteristic, they were quite young, 73 min age, and it was a low risk population of STS score of uh, two in average. And the trial showed uh, the, uh, the, the primary endpoint was a composite endpoint of death, stroke, and rehospitalization, valve related, procedure related, or worsening of heart failure. And it demonstrated that uh, TAVI was superior to uh, surgery with a primary endpoint at one year of uh, around 16% and twofold lower in uh, the TAVI group. Uh, so a big difference. And so much superiority was demonstrated. Uh. So it's an amazing endpoint because it means that this patient indeed go better after TAVI, above all in terms of symptoms, because they don't need free hospitalization. Is that what you mean when you think it's important that TAVI indeed is less invasive than surgery for this population that suffer more from mortality on one and the benefit on the other? So um, rehospitalization were um, more frequent, two, twofold more frequent in a surgical group, uh, but the reasons were more like related to the procedure that was pleural infusion, pulmonary problems, wound, inf uh, wound infection, mediastinitis, uh, atrial fibrillation. It's not, uh, it, they were not hospitalized for symptoms of uh, other symptoms. It was so, uh, really procedural uh, complications after surgery. It's a very good point because we can say that TAVI and surgery work to treat women with aortic stenosis. But do you think that indeed these results showing that the primary endpoint is better with TAVI. Could any, any time influence the treatment of female patient and maybe the guidelines will change in terms of aortic stenosis for female patient mm -hmm. treatment? Yes, when we look at the result and the superiority of TAVI over surgery with a big difference, even if it's driven by hospital stay, TAVI is a less invasive technique, much less invasive technique so it, it, uh, in conclusion, we should, uh, we could consider TAVI as, uh, as, as, the, first, as the preferred, as preferred as treatment the preferred. for women with symptomatic aortic stenosis. I agree. And um, mean age was 73 in Europe. Uh, uh, to get uh, transfemoral TAVI, it's uh, 75 or more. In the United States, it's 80 years old or more. This woman was 73, also at low risk. So it may impact the next um, guidelines in 2025 um, to maybe decrease a little the age. Of course, it will be very important to take into consideration case per case, the anatomical uh, feature of the patient. The Which one? Yes, because is it related. better to place a small valve? Uh, because um, the 45% of surgical valve were 19 and 21. So these patients probably TAV is better. At the opposite, sometimes probably it will be better to surgery. So f even for any case of TAV, you have always to balance the risk and the benefit of each procedure. But it's less invasive TAV, so it's preferred. So just to conclude and to have your personal point of view, would you change your practice in a female patient with aortic stenosis treatment? Would you go for TAV for sure? 
Um, anyway, we, in France, we are uh, kind of linked by the uh, European guidelines, and European guidelines <laughs> are 75 and more. And uh, in the heart team, our surgeons, they want to follow also the guidelines because uh, if the patient is more than 75, uh, it's less than 75, then we send to, today the patient to surgery. But I think we, we, we could consider decreasing the age. The only limitation is that these results are at one year, of course, and uh, we, we, we need to have a longer follow-up to, follow to, to confirm everything. But these results are very promising with, um, again, with a procedure with so much less invasive. We have patients discharged home the following day and uh, the duration of hospital stay in surgery was nine days and only half of them go home. And uh, with Tavi, almost all of them go home. So it's a huge difference for uh, anyone. So indeed, the results are really, really encouraging mm -hmm. and they are really important to, to consider above all because the, the women are less representative, represented in other trials. So thanks for developing the result of this trial, for running that, and we will see the impact in the near future. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.